Hello everyone. We are in uh, ray optics and we are talking about the reflection of the light at a plane surface or a plane mirror. In this video, I would like to find out what is the size of a mirror if he, if that mirror has to be used to see ourself or else yourself completely. If you are having a height h, what shall be the height of that mirror to see yourself completely? That is the question. That is what we would like to answer. So, let us imagine that uh, we are having a certain height. Let this is the height of a man. Let this is the head of that man, ourself, yourself, and this is the feet of that man. I is not at the center, but it does not make a difference. Let us consider an I here just to see the diagram little uh, comfortably, little easily. We are standing before a mirror. Here is a mirror, right? Here is a mirror. And we would like to know what shall be the size of this mirror so that you can see yourself completely. What shall be the minimum size? It can be more than that, but I would like to calculate what is the minimum size of this mirror so that we can see ourselves completely. So, what can happen? The light ray from the head part might be striking, striking one end of the mirror and that light ray reflects back towards the eye. So, that eye is able to try to see the kind of a object. Now, light from the feet part also most like this and it also reflects back to the eye. It also reflects back to the eye. So, here I is supposed to see that uh, image, but you can clearly see the light rays are coming towards the eye like this. So, what does our eye will do is actually to identify the location of that man, extend the light rays that whatever it is coming towards it uh, in the reverse direction like this and like this. So, this is where I is going to see a image of that man. This is the man, basic man that we are standing before the mirror and it is a virtual image behind the mirror. It is very clear that if this is a size h, height h, if this is a height h, the size of the image is also going to be same, that is going to be the same because we know we have already proved in the previous video that uh, size of the object is nothing but equal to size of the image. So, this is the head part, this head part is being seen here and this is the feet part that is being seen here. So, we also know one more uh, point that uh, if suppose if a person is standing at a distance x from the mirror, his image is having the same size and the distance is also the same. My, dis my diagram is not appearing like exactly same, but it will happen, right. I am not drawing with any geometrical support, just with a handwritten, therefore it is looking like little different. Practically both of them are going to be same. Now you can see that uh, there is two similar triangles in our diagram. What are that uh, two similar triangles? triangle E M and M dash and there is another triangle E H dash and F dash. These two triangles are same because they are sharing a common angle or similar triangles. If the triangles are similar, the ratios of the sides can be the same and we can just use that concept. As the triangles are similar, we can say the ratios of the sides of the triangles are same and what I can write is the opposite sides to a given angle, say this is an angle theta, opposite side is nothing but equal to mm dash of the smaller triangle and the bigger triangle is nothing but equal to h dash f dash, it is nothing but the size of the man. I can write another side, but even I can write the distance also because the triangles are similar. This is x, this is also the x, when the object is at x, image is also at x. 
So mm dash correspond to the triangle, smaller triangle emm dash is x. And be careful, the second triangle is a bigger triangle eh dash and f dash. So the total distance is going to be equal to this total distance. I have to write x and x, nothing but equal to 2x. So x and x gets cancelled. mm dash is nothing but the size of the mirror, that is what we are supposed to calculate h dash f dash is nothing but the size of the image that is nothing but the size of the man that is nothing but the height of the man equal to 1. So, I can say size of the mirror required to see a man completely the minimum size be careful I am just calculating a minimum size equal to height of the man by 2. So, we need a mirror whose height is half of the man therefore, you can see yourself completely wherever you are standing in a room right that is the point that I want to prove thank you.